What is going on between Sagittarius and their special person right now, please? Okay, so this is whatever this is. All right, so somebody is losing sleep. And a lot of it. Somebody is stressed out, worried. All right, why is this person stressed out and worried and losing sleep? Why? This is why. <clears throat> um, okay, so you could be involved with a Capricorn. If not, um, is something about starting a new cycle. So somebody wants to start a new cycle that is perhaps a little bit more stable, okay, than the previous. So um, <clears throat> this may, this could apply to people who are beginning something new, but I'm, I'm thinking it's more like a new cycle. Um, what else is going on between Sag and their person before we get to the other issues? What's going on between Sagittarius and their person? Yeah, okay. So there's a bit of deception. Um, <clears throat> you may be dealing with a Pisces. So what I'm seeing is Gemini energy, Capricorn energy, and Pisces energy. Um, what I am seeing, though, is that somebody um, it feels like they're being deceived. They feel like there's information they don't have. Okay? I feel like this is probably you. What else is going on? One more what's going on, and then we'll move to the other issues. What else is going on between Sag and their person? All right, so <laughs> there's Aquarius energy there. Someone um, may be going off on their own to start something new, or it could be a desire for a restart. I'm just going to get something to clarify the fool. Can we clarify? Or someone may be taking a risk somehow. Can we clarify the fool, please? Why is that here as to what's going on between Sag and their person? There's Aquarius energy again. So this could very well have to do with an Aquarius, but so somebody in this connection wants to move toward you click quickly with a message. Um, it's from the heart. They could be angry. They could be angry. Yeah, they could be angry about a new opportunity that you have, Sag. I'm not sure. Just get one more piece of information about this. Oh, there's two more pieces. Yeah. <clears throat> so there's the unknown. There's unknown information. I feel like your person <laughs> is trying to shine a light on it. <clears throat> That's Virgo energy there. But I feel like your person um, is really searching um, for information on this or you're searching for information. You may be... Um, simply using your intuition based on past experience with this person. Um, one more piece of energy for what's going on before we go on. So obviously this could relate to a Leo, but I feel like somebody, I feel like this is you. Um, <clears throat> You're being very emotionally strong. You're being emotionally mature. Um, I feel like you're confident that things are going to work out no matter what. And you're right. Because I see healing energy there. All right, so let's go on to the whole point of the reading, which is to find out. We're going to put away with the Witch's Tarot. I'm going to grab the Gilded Tarot deck. All right, so in relation to that high priestess energy um, and the moon energy, because certainly that indicates that there are things there that we don't know, um, what is Sag's person hiding from Sagittarius? I think we're going to, um, we're going to get a couple of things here. What is the person that Sag is most in love with? What are they hiding from Sagittarius, please? What are they hiding Oh, sorry. Uh, I have to clarify. What is the Ten of Cups as something that Sag's person is hiding? Please 
Clarify the Ten of Cups, please. All right, I think I know what this is, but I'm going to get one more clarification card. Can we clarify the Six of Swords? We've got um, Mars and Pisces, Mercury and Aquarius. Can we clarify those two cards as what Sagittarius person is hiding? Nice. Okay. <laughs> Sag, what your person is hiding um, is that they want to move toward um, uh, having um, the Ten of Cups with you. I don't know why they would be hiding this. Um, it's not that they're hiding <clears throat> another family situation. Um, they may be about to offer you um, a, a nice cycle of stability. Um, they may want to move toward you. They may want you to move toward them. Um, I'm going to get some more information on what they could be hiding. What else is Sage's person hiding from them or not saying? What are they not saying? Okay, so they, they're they feeling... Uh, they've had, Your person has had a tower moment. Why have they had a tower moment? What is this tower moment that Sage's person has had? What is this? <laughs> you could very well be dealing with a Capricorn. Um, they may have realized that they should have um, joined together with you, um, that you work well together. Um, uh, may I have more explanation on why they're feeling the tower? Yeah, these feelings were unexpected. These are unexpected, um, very strong feelings. That they, this is your card, um, the Wheel of Fortune. They're having towards Sagittarius. Um, I'm just going to find out what caused these feelings, what caused this onset of feelings by Sagittarius person. So... I feel like it was that you suddenly had options um, or perhaps they were put in a situation where they realized they had to choose um, or maybe they chose it incorrectly. Um, what about these choices for Sag's person? Why did this bring the onset of the tower feelings? Why? You could definitely be dealing with a Capricorn. Um, because previously their heart was closed. Uh, they were focused on money. Um, they were controlling their feelings. Uh, and they are not anymore. They're now realizing that they had options. Um, this is very interesting. It doesn't have to be a Capricorn. But I feel like your person um, has had some very unexpected emotions about you. Now let's find out what they'd like to say to you, okay? What would Sag's person feel like somebody may have moved and that triggered that? I think that's why the Six of Swords was there. Um, all right, what would Sag's person most like to say to Sag? If they could speak from the heart, what would they most like to say? Wow. Um, so this is wanting a victory with someone. I feel like what they're saying here is I kept my feelings under control for so long. Um, I felt like I was being pulled in two different directions. I was controlling my feelings and just trying to win. Um, and now I can't win with you on, on an emotional or spiritual plane. I can't. I can win anything on a physical plane, but not. I can't go beyond that. I feel like they regret this. They regret controlling their emotion and keeping it in. What else would they like to say to Sagittarius? What else would Sagittarius' person like to say to them? I feel like let's move forward um, is another message coming from that. Yeah. That what I did wasn't right. 
um, it wasn't right for you. Um, I feel like this is an injustice, uh, you know, for you, and they recognize this. They're gonna bend, they're gonna make things, I'm gonna make things right, Sag. What else would they like to say to Sagittarius? What else would Sag's person like to say to them? I feel like they're now thinking about things from your perspective, from the perspective of we. <laughs> you could definitely be dealing with a Capricorn. Um, so this person, um, you know, the, <laughs> they're very physically attracted to you. Stay with me, Sag, don't leave, stay with me. We have a special bond, you know we do. Um, this is a very strong energy, okay? Um, all right, so... <laughs> Um, I want to eat you up. <laughs> okay, what else would Sag's person like to say um, to Sag? What else would they like to say to Sag? I'm watching you. <laughs> what else would they like to say to Sag? What else would they like to say to Sagittarius? They, they're watching you, Sag. What else would they like to say to Sag? Ah. Um, so what they want to say is let's begin again. Um, this time it will be stable. Um, Let's start a new cycle, and this time it will lead to stability. Um, let's just check the bottom of the deck. Um, yeah, I'm so sorry, Sag. I feel like I fooled everything up. You know, is it possible to go back? Is it possible for us to go back? Um, let's get one more. That's amazing. What else would they like to say to Sagittarius? They could be crying, literally. What else would Sag's person really like to say to them? Yeah, um, I think they feel like you are, are you going to fight me off um, when I come toward you? Um, you know, will you be fighting me? Are you listening to all the people who said bad things about me? Are you listening to the naysayers? Are you, or are you going to defend us? Are you going to fight off the naysayers? That's interesting. Um, what else would they like to say to Sag? I'm sorry that I juggled you. This could very well be a Capricorn. Um, they could also be thinking right now. They could be saying, I'm making a decision right now. So are you going to fight me off? What else would they like to say to Sagittarius? One final message. This is just so interesting, it's hard to stop. What else would they like to say to Sag? Is it over? Is it over or can we just start again? And Sag, I, when I say start again, I want the whole, a whole new cycle. I'm going to give you the world. Is it really over? Um, <clears throat> because this is about ending a toxic cycle. You know, it, well, it's not, it doesn't have to be toxic, but it's a, it's a major ending, but a major new beginning. And just look at what's on the bottom of the deck. Do you still have love for me? Is that cup? of love that you had all the time. Is that cup still for me, Sag? Is it? It's amazing, Sag. Beautiful reading. Absolutely beautiful reading. 